And it's also what I want to say, everything what you hear right now has not to be the reality. Very important, right? So this, what I spread right now, is just my thoughts, what I have experienced. And you can just take it or you, you can leave it as well. So just put yourself out of it. What do you say? Hmm, okay, that's fine. That might will work for me. I don't, I don't want nothing Perfect, more. Perfect, because no. stress is not negative. You know, we can have stress also in a positive way. And the best um, example, the best instance, I think we all have experienced. Because I think we all have loved a person for one time. Or we all have that sense of, oh, I, I like this person. Or I'm going on a date, for example. How many people have, are you going on a date or went for, on a date? <laughs> okay, I, I think the majority, right? Sometimes. <laughs> Okay, maybe you have a partner, or you have also a wife, or a husband, whatever. Or divorced. <laughs> no, I think like we all have experience in some way. Yeah, and this is exactly what we see like as you stress, a positive stress. If you go on a first date, if you have, you know, they invite you on a person where you say, oh wow, I have this, is something sparkling or something like that. Um, to talk with this person, when we feel stressed, but in a positive way. Oh. Sorry? No, it's not positive for me, but anyway, go ahead. It's not positive? No, not at all. It's stressing you, right? Yeah, it's not. I canceled the date because it was too stressful, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, like that, it's like, hey, you use stress into this stress, and then that kind of stress is uh, positive. But of course, if you have all the day long, three dates in a row, maybe there's a huge stress level as well, so you have to stay calm. Just as an excitement, so you can sound more positive. Mm -hmm. That's cool, yeah. I think you can handle it like that. So we say that we get excited about it and then we get stressed about it in a positive way. Uh, I think that's better, yeah, of course. So we get excited about it. And then we also have the distress and to subdivide that a little bit more, we can say that positive, for example, Brief increases heart rate. It also can be, for example, sport, you know, like going rock climbing, for example. If we're going rock climbing for the first time, maybe when we're not used to make sport or something like that, we easily get in that sort of stress period or even the first date. So the second one is we have the tolerable stress type. And it means, for example, something more serious. Okay. For example, experiencing the death of a family member or even a good friend. I also can say like a serious illness or injury what impacts our life and also natural disaster. So we have that is a tolerable type. The next thing is toxic where you say like, okay, it could be for example, mental illness over a long time of period. And also for example, when I work all the day long and I don't have time off okay it's not gonna stress us if we have one day of intense work and not pauses but what will stress us is when we actually do it every single day without having pauses and relaxation time and i yeah please um, i can wait no no it's fine please continue uh, i think it's a good question it's a very deep question I think it also has to do with your believing sentences from the past. So what defined you from the past? Because like, seriously, we all are the person from our past. So I do believe that uh, it has an impact, of course. But maybe what helps you right now is to how can you separate that? And it first start by simply um, noting your past thinking. You ask yourself, okay, where does this stress behavior come from? And, and how can I fix it for myself? How can I fix it that I don't influence me in, for example, the day what I want to have with that girl, for example, right? To be more aware of myself and of my past will help me a lot um, or to get more ease in my life in the future. So this is also what I want to say, like really reflect on your past become the best confident and happy person what you can be uh, to get neutral you know and then you can do your best um, for the future 
But if you always, you know, like put something from your past into your present, you will, it will always affect it, you know? So I think the first thing what we can do is to reflect the other topic, the other thing what we um, have experienced in our past, you know? Maybe you could answer like that, but it's, it's a very deep question, right? And it has not only to do something with, with stress management, also a lot of with inner conflicts and traumas from the past, for, for the past, for example, and to deal with that at first, in the first hand. I think you are, you're right in some way. When someone was never used to ask himself the, the, the reflection questions, you know, but when if someone is already in the process of self-development, actually you don't need that psychologist, for example, because what is a psychologist doing? What exactly is a, psycholog a psychologist doing? Listening. Listening and asking, asking questions. So, situation yeah. to ask for yeah. Yeah, just for a second, I think in the end we all have to implement our problems for ourselves. So we can have a lot of, you know, like questions, we can absorb them, how much we ever need, but in the end we have to do it for ourselves. You know, we can listen to our psychologist or we can listen to our speaker or an inspirator or a coach or even a good friend, but in the end we have to um, deal with this situation just with ourselves and what we make out of it. So in that case, a psychologist is also just an inspirator to act on it. We ask ourselves questions, what I really recommend, that self-reflection every day. You know, I'm the guy who is walking with his dog every day in the morning and asking myself questions out loud. And yeah, maybe you think like I'm, I'm stupid or something like that, or it's just ridiculous to ask yourself questions in the morning. But I can tell you, it is the best thing to know exactly who you are, to be in a good company with yourself, to ask yourself questions, okay, why do I feel like that? Why I feel I stressed? Where do all my problems come from? How can I solve them? How can I be a better person? Asking questions will open your mind. And if you're in a good way that you say, okay, maybe you can ask yourself the questions for yourself, then you're uh, getting better on, on your personal development and that sense of becoming the person you, what you, what you want to become.